Dr. David Klee has over 30 years experience as both a teacher of the flute and as a professional musician. He has performed in all kinds of musical organizations, ranging from classical orchestras to heading his own jazz group, the Jazz Express. With these Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hi, this is Dr. David Klee. Welcome to another Pro Minute video series. This is video four of our new series where we take a really in-depth look at jazz improvisation. If you remember in video two, we talked about horizontal movement. In video three, we talked about vertical movement. Now in video four of this video, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do horizontal and vertical movement as we develop our jazz lines. So coming up on your computer screen right now is a PDF music file that shows, again, the 12 bar blues. It shows the three chords at the beginning that are used throughout the song. And then what we have, you'll see a combination in each measure where I'm doing some horizontal movement and some vertical movement. And if you notice something else I've done as I worked on this, you notice it kind of rises and falls, rises and falls. This is the way improvisation works. When you develop your lines, you don't want to necessarily start on the tonic note of every chord every time going up. Because then you sound like this. And then it gets very mundane, very monotonous. What you want to do is eventually develop where you're going rising and falling, rising and falling, as you work and you way through the different chords. So as you look with this example, this is what I've sort of done and the way I've kind of wrote it out. So let's take a look at this and I'll just play a little bit to kind of give you an idea. Now again, you can go back using your jazz style articulation with it. start the CD. Let's play this together. Let's have some fun. Great. Wasn't that fun? That was a lot of fun. Alrighty. Now what you could do with this, you could go back again to video two, video three, and this video and work your way through all the different things we've been talking about and try to really fine tune and develop your craft. And then when you feel like you're ready, then you can go to video five. Video five is where we're actually going to start developing our own musical lines, understanding what a motivic figure is, understanding how you develop a musical line based on what we've learned so far. So until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.